when I tell you that a Mac is the best way how to process astro pictures, there's one response I always get. Yes, might be, but there's so much Windows software that I have that I cannot use on a Mac that this is not a feasible way. Now, are there ways how we can deal with that? We will look at it right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So, grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. Now, I absolutely agree, and this is a huge issue. There is a lot of software, especially on the planetary side, which is not available for Mac. A few examples, PIPP, Autostackert, Registax, Sequator, and so on and so on. But also to be clear, the main tool which we're using for deep space astrophotography, mostly PixInsight, AstroPixel processor, Photoshop, and so on. This is all available for Mac. And as you know, I have a Mac. So the first thing I actually tried was Bootcamp. Bootcamp is the embedded functionality in Mac OS that you can actually have a separate partition on your Mac where you can run Windows. The great part about this is that when you do that, you have practically a Windows PC. But the highly annoying part about this is that you have to shut down your computer and reboot it with the other OS. Now, if you're like me and you have a million of different apps open, this is just not something you want to do. I rarely reboot my Mac, perhaps once every two weeks, once there's an update, but otherwise it's running. So for me, this was a no-go. But to be clear, if you do not mind to shut down and reboot. It's a very good way. It's uh, performing well. It's actually easy to install it. But from my side of view, the, the root was a very big inconvenience. Now then the next route, which I took until a few weeks ago, was to have this software installed on my mini PC, which I used to run the telescope. This was before Amelia Quieter. Now it's the Prima Lucia Labs Eagle 5. And even on the Mealy Quieter, this was running quite well. And then I could access it by remote desktop, as I do when I run Nina in the evenings. But also this has its major disadvantages. First of all, file transfer. If you have to transfer huge amount of files, for example, from one mini PC to another, it gets very difficult. Also, you have to run this PC the whole day practically on your rig. And usually if I let my rig outside, it's very hot through the days. I do not want to let my eagle run by 35 degrees or 40 degrees under the cover. So I was looking forward. And a few weeks ago, I found the perfect solution. And that's Parallels. Now I heard a lot about Parallels, but I was not aware how good it really is. If you don't know it, let me explain. Parallels is a software which you install on macOS. And what it does is it emulates on the macOS while you're working on your Mac Windows. So you can really, in parallel, run Mac applications and Windows applications without interference, without any issues. And the crazy part is that it really works like I just said it. It's like a miracle. There are no performance issues, there are no crashes, there's no compatibility issues, it just runs. Which also means that you can access the same files on your computer at the same directories with your Mac apps and with your Windows apps and just exchange it. So for example, in AutoStackert, I stack a planetary picture. Once the picture is actually complete, I just go to PixInsight, which I run on the Mac, and I open this file and I process it without any step in between. And I want to show you that now on my PC. Okay, and here we are on the homepage of Parallels. Here you see the different products. You have actually a desktop for Mac or the Pro Edition. And the Pro Edition in principle has just more power 
but actually for these things usually the, the regular one is sufficient. This is by the way updated for the new Mac OS version, so it even is already optimized for Sonoma, which just will come out now in September. You can download a trial version and try it out, convince yourself before you actually buy it. If you want to buy it, there is as always these days a subscription model, but also a one-time version. But what was for me the real impressive part was how fast it was installed. Once you actually click here, try free, you get to an install link. And first it installs the application and then, and that is really cool. It installs Windows 11 without that you have to do anything. It just does it. And when it's installed, you have everything ready, including the Windows 11 version. Now I want to give you here a tip. Now in all of these cases, you need a Windows 11 license, right? So this is not included, no matter if it's bootcamp or if you install it on your Nuke or if you install it here, you need a Windows license. And these licenses, they're rather expensive. So if I just go now to Google Microsoft Windows 11 license, Microsoft Windows 11 Pro costs, this is in Swiss francs, so this is about $145. This is officially how much a Windows 11 Pro license costs. Now let's for something else. Microsoft Windows 11 license OEM. Now you see a lot of different providers. Now I just took now one. Microsoft Windows 11 Professional OM, 12 euros, so $14. So you might ask yourself, is this now illegal? And the interesting part is it's not. This is an absolute legal license for Windows 11 Pro. The interesting part is that Microsoft hands out thousands of these keys for companies and they can be split apart and then separately sold. And this is how this is happening. So you can save a lot of money with that tip. But let's now go back to Parallels and let's go now directly in Parallels. So Parallels is just another icon here, here Parallels Desktop. And then I get this, I just click on it and it starts and that's it. And now I'm like on a Windows PC. Here, start, and here I have it now. PIPP, AutoStackert, Sequator, AstroSurface, and whatever I want. So let's see how it works. I open it, and here it is. And I already did some Luna pictures, which I processed with PIPP and AutoStackert, and it worked actually like a charm. So now the interesting part, let's go now into the Explorer. And here I actually have now these moon files, and you also see this PC, SSD, so this is an external SSD on my Mac, and I can simply access it. I can also access the C drive of my Mac without any issue. When I now actually click on this TIFF, and that's the funny part, look at it. Select an app to open this TIFF file. Luminar Neo, Mac, PixInsight, Mac, Pixelmated Pro, Mac, but then also if we go down, here Windows Photo Viewer. So I can actually open it right in Mac or I can open it on the Windows. It just, this is the great part about it. It's completely seamless. So if I take now the photo viewer, it goes up here. But just to demonstrate now, I can also go now to another moon picture, open with, say now Pix Insight. You see it already opened it in here. And you see now also below here that even the auto stackered is here a separate icon which looks no different than all the other icons from my Mac. So I can simply go back again on AutoStackert. Here I am again. So that's what I mean, it's completely seamless. And that I think is absolutely great. Okay, that was it. I hope that was helpful and I hope you understand my excitement. To be clear, I have no affiliation with Parallels. I don't have an affiliate link, I don't have a code for you, I just have a recommendation which I just did now. And if you're interested, the link is in the description below. If you want to support the channel and get such tips and tricks as fast as possible, please join my Patreon community, link is in the description below. See you next time, and clear skies.